Hi everybody, Corey Dershane, Barefoot Books Independent Ambassador here. Um, today I want to share a collection that is very popular, which is our Best of Barefoot collection. I'm going to start with our Yoga Pretzels pack of activity cards, which is 50 yoga activities for both kids and adults. It comes with a packet that describes how to use it and what its purpose is, and also are connecting barefoot activities on the back as well. Um, the book, My Daddy is a Pretzel, uh, Yoga Planet, which is another pack of activity cards. <clears throat> the cards are divided into categories. As you can see, my daughter has gone through them, so they're not as together as they once were. But for example, things like the back bend category, time in category, so she got that one upside down, the standing category, okay? So there's a lot of different ones. <clears throat> Now the one I'm going to show you today is called Shark. Mm -hmm. So it gives <clears throat> what the pose is supposed to look like in the end, what it's used for. Determined, powerful, sleek. Mm -hmm. And this is a back bend pose. And on the back it goes through the steps. I am long and sleek. Lie on your tummy. I am a strong swimmer. Clasp your hands behind your back. So it takes you through the steps. And then it has <clears throat> an ending thought to go with it. All of the cards do. Do you have a fear that you need to face? Circle it like a shark and scare it away. So those are really great for relaxation, focus, and getting over any fears or <clears throat> trials that a child is having, or an adult too. Um, next I wanna show you our best-selling board book, I Took the Moon for a Walk. Carolyn Curtis and Allison Jay is the illustrator Barefoot Books is known for our amazing illustrations, and Allison J is one of my favorites. <clears throat> so this is a rhyming story. I took the moon for a walk last night. It followed behind like a still summer kite. And then in the end, it's interesting to see, was the boy dreaming? Or was this really happening? I love the reflection of the moon here on this page. <laughs> The moon was above and the moon was below. <clears throat> and then here at the end. <laughs> showing him sleeping under the moon. And at the very, very end, a lot of our barefoot books, actually most of them, have some kind of end matter. So this talks about the phases of the moon and the different animals that are nighttime animals that were found in the book as well. Mm. Next, I'd like to show you our World Atlas, which is a barefoot books staple, comprehensive, colorful, engaging. Mm. It also comes with an app um, and the app is very cool. It was voted um, top 100 app by Apple um, a couple of years ago. And it starts with the story of our planet. Mm -hmm. yeah. And then talks about mapping. Gives us an overall of the entire world. And then goes into the oceans. Talks about resources. Mm -hmm. Has fun, did you know, flaps. and flaps that open up as well. And as you can see, very colorful with lots of detail of animal and places. And then at the end, a full-sized um, color map to be able to take out for your child to be able to hang and to use. So this is an awesome investment. Um, for a kid really of any age. Our Barefoot Book of Children was published last year. And this book by Tessa Strickland, Kate De Palma, and illustrated by David Dean celebrates diversity in our world. And also, how are we the same? So kids wonder, you know, what is it like in other places in the world? Sometimes it's the same, sometimes it's different. Do we live in the same kinds of houses? Do we eat the same kind of things? Do we worry about the same kind of things? 
What kind of parents do you have? We all come in different shapes and sizes. And at the end, and I love the questions because the questions in this book are thoughtful questions. Do you have a treasure that is special to you? A feather you found, a pebble, where do you keep it? So something for them to think about. Some people worship, some people might pray, mm -hmm. some meditate. Mm -hmm. okay. Every life is a story. It's easier to understand someone when you know their story. And how true is that, especially for us adults too. And then the very end, I love this for a classroom, for a writing prompt so insightful. You are part of the world. You are also a world all your own. This is where you belong. What will happen in your story? And 15 pages at the end of End Matter, looking at all of these illustrations, a closer look at the illustrations, and talking about all these different places, even more in depth. Family, clothes, people, um, different things, like the hobbies, showing what all the hobbies are, different countries, like what comes from different countries, the different food, explaining the different foods that came from the other countries, names, pronunciations, languages. Okay? So this is such an awesome, awesome book for both a child or for a classroom as well. Mm -hmm. Lastly, selling millions of copies. Mm -hmm is the Animal Boogie. This is one of our watch and sing-alongs, and I have another video um, describing some of them, too. Uh, but basically, it's a fun, fun book, um, <clears throat> illustrated by Debbie Harder, which is very cool. She has these really fun illustrations, like she does the bear books that I absolutely love. Um, so you can go through and you can read this story. It's really great, and you're trying to guess who's hiding in each picture. Okay. What's that creature shaking here and there? And then, of course, it's a bear. And as it goes through, there's a new animal every time that you're trying to guess. But what's awesome about this book is not just it's a story and a fun story and it's beautifully illustrated. It's a song. So it has all of the music at the end and a CD. This CD plays as a CD in a regular CD player. It also plays as a DVD in a computer. So if you stick it into a computer, it will play an entirely animated version of this story um, for kids to follow along with. And then it also has the lyrics and it has the bouncing ball. And there are several different versions of it too. Some um, have the person singing, some do not, so that the child can sing on their own. So there are a lot of different versions to it. Fun, fun, book. Um, so this is a great book for kids, you know, maybe age two up through age five or six, sometimes even older. They're really great. Um, so I hope this helped you guys with your decisions if you're looking to purchase any of these books or activities for your children. Um, and let me know if I can help you at all. Thank you.